Hello everyone, this is Victor Campos, and so here we're using Facebook for our business. Now honestly, Facebook, there's not much of a trick to it, um, as we've been seeing if you've seen the other, the other videos for the other networks. It's about sharing um, content, um, it's about uh, putting out something interesting, pictures, video, etc. Um, to your audience. But then you say, well, yeah, my audience. I don't have an audience. I have one like. I have two likes. I have the, the 10 likes that my friends gave me, but I need more, more likes. So what? Uh, how do I get more likes? Now, unfortunately, the, the fact of the matter is um, popularity breeds popularity in that if you've already got some sort of uh, popularity in another medium that'll translate to popularity on Facebook. So if you've already got a thousand followers on on YouTube, you'll be able to get a thousand or more on Facebook because you can always drive traffic from fa from YouTube to Facebook. Same thing with any other network. Same thing in real life. If you have some sort of online, if you have some sort of fame in real life, it'll be a lot easier for you to get likes on Facebook. Well, that puts a lot of us um, at a disadvantage, right? We don't have this fame in these other platforms, these other mediums. So the fact of the matter is that modern Facebook um, marketing really comes down to ads. And so I do have to say that this is the network that I recommend, and I do this for my clients and myself, I do recommend to engage in Facebook ads. I do recommend to set aside some sort of budget on a monthly basis or weekly basis, whatever is comfortable for you, and spend to get likes. You think, well, that sounds like a scam. I'm going to pay Facebook for likes. And uh, that's a bit of a cynical response, but it is along those lines, unfortunately. We are one of of, an, of one billion users of Facebook. We are going to get lost uh, needle in a haystack and all. So I will be talking about how to set up Facebook ads. Uh, pretty pretty easy actually and effective I do see a lot of results when I when I do ads for my clients on Facebook so let's say I've got something I want to to boost that's the terminology we've got two terms promote and boost and I see them both here promote page promote or boost post uh, both can work for you. Promote pages that your page will appear on the sidebar of people or suggestions and such. The, the page in general then is is suggested to to everyone to to give it a like and such. Well perhaps uh, a more effective uh, tactic and one that I'm gonna demonstrate in a moment here is to boost a a post that is a your content itself will speak for you if you do boost if you promote your page it may uh, not be as effective because your message isn't as targeted but here's what I mean so I'm gonna say that this particular post I want to use it to get more attention to get more likes etc so let's say this was something that my company is selling and I want people to know about it. So think about it in terms like that. What, are, what is something that I think people should really know about? So uh, I'm going to select down at the bottom, Boost Post. This gives us a screen where we can set the parameters of boosting our post. Um, and that is, uh, let's see here, that is, for example, are we going to target countries, states, or cities? Let's say I'm a local business, so cities is what I want to target. So I'm going to select cities, and it says, well, within how many miles, uh, if left blank, your ad will be delivered to the U.S., which is the same as country, but I'm going to start to type San Diego. And I should keep an eye out over here, estimated people reached. So based on the budget that I'm going to set, 
uh, I could reach here a total of 780,000 um, people on, on Facebook and uh, what I've what I might spend on could reach 19 to 51,000 people so uh, keep an eye on that but we'll, we'll edit some more things so um, I think actually what I'll do is to assuage your fears about this I'm going to first look at budget notice for me it suggested you might want to spend two hundred dollars on one day well no I don't I have other options and I can uh, go from 200 to 1500 and uh, what kind of reach I'll get so if you've got the budget for it you can you can invest it but this is a little too expensive for me so even if you select the smallest value that's not the smallest value the smallest value is one dollar so you can spend one dollar to get activity on Facebook. Uh, it's going to reach about 280 to 730 people. Obviously, I would want to reach as many people as possible, but I don't have the budget for that. So one dollar spent on one day, that's fine. Well, maybe I want to run this boost or this campaign for seven days. It's going to complain that I need uh, at least seven dollars because it'll be a dollar per day. Let's say seven dollars. This will be spread out through seven days. So two thousand to five thousand. That's a good starting point. Seven dollars. I'm targeting San Diego, just San Diego, or maybe environs, twenty-five miles as well. Notice how that changed. Ages. Well, uh, everyone thirteen and up or perhaps a range of um, 20 to 25 year, year olds. Let's see how your values change. They might increase, they might decrease. That's fine. Uh, the point is that you're t being proactive and you're taking the opportunity to target those that might really care about your message. Genders, well, maybe just women or men or all that's fine and then here very important interests four to ten interests uh, Facebook has a lot of data on a lot of people and people willingly give it people write what their favorite band is what their favorite TV show is what their favorite movie etc so people have a lot of interests filled out so I can start typing here and it'll give me suggestions let's see bake bakery okay and it might suggest, well, do you also mean cooking? Sure. Cuisine, barbecue, camping, cuisine, yeah. So it suggests four to ten of these. Um, let me try kitchen. So putting in these interests that people have, and it's then giving me these ranges. I do want to be specific because obviously I want to target the people that would care most about what I'm boosting, but not so specific that this drops down to a hundred people or less. So uh, I'm going to boost this for seven days. This is my budget these are my interests this is my post more options I've already got a credit card set up you most likely do not so you'll have to take a moment to set up a credit card and then you'll be able to boost your posts and get activity so I'm gonna cancel at this point but uh, this is one of the most effective ways to get activity on Facebook. And notice it could be as, as, as little as $1 per day, $7 per week. You're not going to be continuously charged, so you're not going to get charged $7 right now uh, or, or this week and then automatically get 7 
dollars more deducted next week and next week and next week. It's it's until the budget runs out, it's done. You don't get overcharged. Um, you you set your budgets, you set your limits, and you never get charged more than that. And so I do this for my clients. I do this when I want to boost my own post. If I've got a class that I need people to know about, I boost my post. <coughs> It's effective. <clears throat> so I'm going to cancel at this point. I'm going to look at the other type of way to promote. You might have promote your page. It's going to be very similar. I'm going to select on the left side. Uh, yours may, you may or may not see this, but you might see promote. That's going to promote your page. Whereas boost post was just the page, was just that post itself. So it might be effective to boost, to boost a particular uh, a particular post because it has a direct message but you might want to get your whole page boosted or promoted here's how this looks so <coughs> excuse me I think I got some allergies so what address do you want people to see in this in this uh, in this little ad so um, my home website, yeah, I want that. What headline do you want to appear? Some text, call to action, uh, optional. You can set some buttons like shop now, book now, etc. Upload a picture, and here's your preview. People are going to see this on, the, on their screen. Um, like the page, etc., etc. There's the link. location where do you want to target this to again maybe to people this time let's say La Jolla with what interests um, cuisine cooking food so you should fill in uh, four to ten of these interests age range, etc. Choose your budget. Run this ad continuously. Choose when this ad will end. Run this until 10 2. It's currently 9.23. So you could say 7 days, 14 days, etc. You can also set this manually. Today's the 20th. Uh, the 29th, let's say it's just 30. Um, you have here, though, you do have a budget of minimums, maximums, 20 or $5, let's say. So I could expect seven to six clicks per day. Clicks either on the link to where I've connected to or the like on my page. So again, pretty straightforward. You fill out these details. You make it as enticing as possible. You pay for it, and then uh, you'll get results. Now you have to make sure you've got a credit card set up here, and then once you do, you can promote it, and uh, it'll be going. I'm going to cancel that. So, yeah, edit promotion. I'm sorry, uh, cancel promotion. So, those are two ways that you could uh, get activity for your page. You're going to boost your page. <laughs> and then another one last place uh, up on your little triangle menu you've got manage ads. This one is a little bit more full featured because this is going to show you your ad campaigns for for all of your pages. So just as a little preview here I can see that I had an ad campaign for one of my own um, so one of my own pages, the result was 20 page engage engagements, it cost me a dollar twenty-three. I got a reach of 10,000, so 10,000 saw it, uh, $1.23 per engagement, I spent $25 or so on it between those dates, and that resulted in people clicking on the link, liking the page, going to the location, signing up for the class, 
etc. So that is my ad manager. And notice this took me back to my personal account. So again, you have to be careful about which account are you working with. Use Facebook as. Back to my business. So as you use these, you should be getting activity and uh, more likes. The point of the likes is once you post something like um, coupon, come into the store on Saturday and say cookie to get 20% off of your dozen cookie order. And when you post that, you've got more followers, more people that have liked your page, and so you get results. And that's basically the concept of Facebook. It's a lot easier than you think. You're going to see a lot of articles out there about how to use Facebook, how to get likes. And I would recommend to check those out as well. Um, most of the time they have good advice, but honestly it comes back down to, in my experience, boosting your posts, spending a dollar, seven dollars, twenty dollars to really spread your message. It really works. So that was our look at using Facebook for business.